click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in today's session we are going to study about two things. The first is lubricants and the second is lubrication. Lubricants are those materials which help us to reduce the wear and tear between two frictionating surfaces and that entire process is known as lubrication. Let us see this in detail in today's session. Lubricants are nothing but substances and these are chemical substances which reduce the wear and tear or reduce the friction between two moving surfaces also known as frictionating surfaces. So for example if I have a machine part over here and the second machine part is this and this machine part is moving on this machine part then there can be certain amount of friction or wear and tear between these two parts. And if I put a lubricant in the middle that will reduce the wear and tear of the machine, that will reduce the friction of the machine. So the main work of the lubricant is to keep the two materials or the two frictionating surfaces apart from each other. And since it keeps apart, the wear and tear and the friction between these two surfaces reduces. And this entire process is known as lubrication. Lubrication is nothing but the process in which the wear and tear between two frictionating surfaces or two moving surfaces gets reduced with the help of a lubricant. So there are many different kinds of lubricants. There are liquid lubricants, semi-solid lubricants. Semi-solid lubricants are also known as greases. And there are solid lubricants as well. These solid lubricants are the lubricants which are being used in machines which work at very high temperature. So there are certain machines which work at 300, 400, 500 degrees Celsius. And at these temperatures, the liquid lubricants that we use, for example, oil, can either catch fire or they can easily get evaporated. To avoid this, we use solid lubricants like graphite. These lubricants like graphite will stay in the position will not catch heat or catch the fire or neither will they get volatile or evaporated. They will stay in the position over there and they will try maintaining a frictionless surface between the two frictionating or moving surfaces. So we are in today's session we studied about lubricants, what exactly are lubricants, the process of lubrication, how it happens and we also saw a few examples of lubricants which were liquid, semi-solid as well as solid. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.